Hey everyone, this is Mark from Trades Tutor. Today we're going to go through parallel circuits. Now, before I start, I just want to mention I've also done a video on Ohm's Law and one on series circuits. So if you want to watch those as well, you go down below, check the links, and you'll and you'll find those. Okay, let's get started. So the idea with a parallel circuit is you have multiple paths for the electricity to flow. So if I was to close a switch, all five lights would go on. That makes sense. If I was to open it, all five lights would, would turn off. Now, they're all on, but what if one goes out? No problem. The other ones all stay on, and that's the beauty of a uh, parallel circuit. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to call them R1, R2, R3, R4, and R5. And I, like I said before in the, in the series circuit, they're all light bulbs. The resistance should all be the same, but just for the purpose of this demonstration, each of the resistance will be different, 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. All right? All right, so let's put that up there. And what we're going to do is calculate three things here in the parallel circuit. The current flow, the voltage drop, and the total resistance. And once again, we'll put our little Ohm's Law triangle down in the bottom left-hand corner. So, first thing, find the current. So if we take the leg, leg one or through the resistor number one, which is 100 ohms, okay, we use our Ohm's law. E equals I times R, volts equals amps times resistance. Switch it around to find the amps. Throw the numbers in and what we get is 1.2 amps. So if you were to put the multimeter in series with the resistor, what you'll find is that it's 1.2 amps is what it will read. If we try this for leg two of the circuit, or the 200 ohm resistor, we go through the same procedure, plug the numbers in, and we get 0.6 amps. Once again, the multimeter would read 0.6 amps. Okay? Now, you can go through yourself and do the all five of them, but there's the answers. That's what you'd get. R3 is 0.4 amps, R5, or R4 is 0.3, and R5 is 0.24. Now, notice that as the ohms get larger, or the resistor gets larger, you'll notice the amps go down, and that makes sense. The higher the resistance, the less current flow that's going to go through. All right, now, number two, we're going to find the voltage drop, and we'll just find it across each leg of the resistor. There's only one resistor in each leg. Now, once again, here, I want to point out right now, if you look to the left of the drawing, you'll find that this is 120 volts alternating current. So our source voltage is 120. All right, so we're going to find what's called the voltage drop. Got your multimeter again. We'll go back to Ohm's law. Okay, volts is equal to current times, and this is resistor number one. Plug the numbers in. Remember, we found the current for this one particular one was 1 1.2 ohms, or sorry, 1.2 amps. And there you go, it's 120 volts. Okay, so it uses all of the source voltage. It goes from 120 to zero on the other side. We'll try it for R2 again. Okay, same thing. Plug the numbers in. Plug the formula in. This time, remember, it was 0.6 amps, but the resistance was a little higher. Once again, 120 volts from one side to the other measures 120 volts. All right, that was two of them. The third one, find the total resistance. Now, this is a bit of a weird one. The formula for that is, if you take a look at that, 1 over the total resistance is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4 plus 1 over R5. Kind of weird. So, what we want to do is plug those numbers in. Now, let's go and change everything into a decimal. All right? And then what we're going to do is add them all up. So, we get 1 over R total is 0 0.0228. Now, we have to switch that around. We, this is 1 over R total. What we need to find is R total, or R total over 1. So, that is 1 over 0 0.0228, and that works out to be 43.86 ohms. And there you have it, the parallel circuit, everything you need to know. Thanks for, thanks for uh, watching.